Hello and welcome to BCC Virtual Racing and highlights of today's race which was held on the Royal Pump Room 8 course which is part of the 2019 UCI World Championships. Today is 27 kilometers long and includes a not insignificant 480 meters of climbing. Riders will ride the course in both directions and as the profile shows on screen now there is little of the course that is flat. 52 riders have entered so far with 14 of those from BCC. 30 seconds before the start we join Blackham, Lisa and Lancia in the category A start pens. As a reminder the B, C and D riders will leave at one minute intervals. I suspect that the start will be a fast one as riders try to gain some advantage before the first of the hills arrive. 19 category A riders in this group with 10 seconds to go before the start. And they are off for 27 kilometers of this course with one rider left behind as usual. Joining the front of the Cat A group with Lancia, Lisa and Blackham. I suspect this course won't suit Lancia as at 90 kilos he is one of the largest riders and hills are not one of his great strengths. Blackham on screen and continuing to ride well in category A. He will be looking for his first podium position with his best so far a fifth. One minute behind the Cat A riders, the B's are now underway in this group. Davis, Tough, Danes, Mayhew, Smith and Dury. 31 seconds into the race and riders still pushing quite hard. Davis on screen, hiding in the middle of the pack as usual. The camera now switches to Taff in I think only his second race for the Bees. I think he has great potential as a rider. Though he needs to be careful he doesn't get isolated from this group. He's already dropped back two to three seconds. Our first look at Shannon riding at 3.5 watts per kilo which is just slightly above his average for all races. Behind him Mayhew, Smith and Taff. And now at 1.5 kilometers two and a half minutes into the race. A slight gap forming ahead of Mayhew Smith. I hope he rides well tonight following his disqualification from uh, his previous race. At 4.6 watts per kilo it looks as if he and Shannon behind him are trying to catch up with the group ahead. Back with Taff now who has dropped two seconds behind Dury but has pulled one second ahead of Shannon. It looks as if the hills are already beginning to cause some impact for the riders as the group stretches out on each incline. Our first look at category C with uh, Stoneham on this occasion who is riding well following a bronze in his last race. And just ahead of him is Nixon. I don't see these two finishing together but let's see what happens a little bit later on. Nine seconds further back, Morton, Littlewood and Jones. This could be an interesting competition with these three and I wouldn't like to guess which of those will come first at this stage. Six seconds further back, May. And here he is uh, riding in isolation which is a bit unusual. I hope everything's okay at this stage. At less than one watt per kilo right now he certainly isn't putting out the sort of power that I would expect. Uh, there must be something wrong. I'll try and find out what's happening. Now with Telford who's just overtaken May, foolishly stopped in the middle of the road with a mechanical. Telford seems to be riding well today and if he can stick with this group I think uh, he could get a good result. Six minutes into the race and the B group is stretched out over one kilometre. Mayhew Smith and Shannon are four seconds behind Taff who seems to be riding in isolation who in turn is 30 seconds behind Jury. I think Taff would probably be well advised to drop back and join these other riders as I don't really see him at this stage catching Jury in front but stranger things have happened. At 5.3 kilometers at the front of the B group with Davis who is riding at FTP or just above for him that is 308 watts. Davis has perfected the tactic of sitting within the bunch and I suspect he will stay here unless his position towards the front of the C category riders becomes threatened. 
Jury has maintained his relative position both to the group in front and the chasing BCC riders, though he will need to be careful. In my view, he's beginning to look a little tired as he climbs this 4% slope. On the same hill and 24 seconds further back, we have Taff, who at 3.7 watts per kilo is pushing quite hard. I'm, I'm still not convinced he can sustain this over the course. And worryingly, he is still riding pretty much in isolation with just one other rider. At almost six kilometers into the race and 12 seconds further back, Shannon and Mayhew Smith are still riding together. Both riders, I think, would benefit from a larger group, but unfortunately, none ahead and none behind at this stage. With Lancia now at 6.6 .6 kilometers, clearly he is having a hard time. He has been dropped by the other A riders, Lisa and Blackham, 1 minute 48, 1 minute 50 seconds ahead of him. And in fact, on the road just behind might be in sight now the first of the B riders who started one minute behind him are going to catch him. Now while we've been watching Lancia now moving further up the course this is something I didn't expect to see. Lisa has been dropped by the the category A bunch and has fallen 12-13 seconds behind Blackham and is now riding pretty much in isolation now with Blackham towards the front of this group the chasing B group with Danes and Davis has now caught up with Lancia and bear in mind that this group started one minute after the category A riders. At nearly 13 minutes into the race we rejoin one of our category C riders Stoneham who seems to be riding strongly but is in isolation with his nearest BCC competitor Nixon behind him by 44 seconds at this stage. And here is Nixon with Morton four seconds behind him who does later catch him and Littlewood ten seconds further behind Morton who seems to be drifting off a little. Perhaps the pace is a little high for him tonight but let's keep watching. Let's see what happens. This is something I didn't expect to see on this 7% gradient. Blackham seems to have fallen behind the main A group by 28-29 seconds and is riding in isolation. I think his chances of a podium win tonight are somewhat limited. It looks as if the gap to Lisa behind him currently at 28-29 seconds is closing slowly but even more interesting the B group of uh, Danes, Davis and Co is are they yes they are gaining in fact to me at this stage of the race it looks as if blackham is going to get consumed as is lisa with the chasing bees we rejoin the bees just a minute or two later and they have in fact closed this gap considerably uh, now down to four seconds with danes chasing davis in that group as well Lance here looks as if he's dropping back even further, now 8 seconds behind the B group. The camera now with Danes and in fact the rider he can see ahead of him is Lisa. He is going to catch her I suspect just close to the top of this hill. Both Davis and Lance here in this group climbing this 7-8% slope. Uh, Davis holding 4.7, 4.8 watts per kilo. He will need to be careful if he wants to keep his overall average just under 4 watts per kilo. Taff has gained ground on Jury, who is now 19 seconds uh, ahead of him. But interestingly, just behind him by 4 seconds, Mayhew Smith and Shannon. Stoneham riding well. No other BCC riders nearby. Uh, I think looking at his performance now, a podium position is possible if he is careful. Still under just halfway through this race. Slightly further back on the same hill, Morton and Nixon now riding together. Two fairly evenly matched riders. Will be interesting to see which one of them crosses the line first. Just a little bit further back down the same hill, Littlewood, uh, the gap between him and Nixon and Morton seems to be increasing slowly. 
At 17.3 kilometres into the race, an aerial shot now of Blackham, who is still riding in isolation. I can't believe he's managed to sustain this for this long. Surely it can't be long before he is caught by the chasing group. With that chasing group now as they hit one of the steepest slopes on the course at 13%, Lisa, Lancia, Davis and Danes all within this bunch. Just as Jury hits the steepest part of this slope at 15%, he is caught by the chasing group with BCC riders Mayhew, Smith and Shannon. If he can stick with this group, I think he'll do well. His overall statistics are better than both Shannon's and Mayhew Smith's at this stage. This climb has definitely taken its toll on the riders with Mayhew Smith beginning to drop slightly off the back. Uh, yes, he's now two seconds, three seconds behind Shannon and Dury. He will need to push hard if he's going to catch up at this stage. Telford riding well but again in isolation uh, and not far behind him in fact by 15 seconds Jones and that might just be Telford he can see going round the corner up ahead. A good move by Blackham he's now dropped back and joined with fellow BCC riders Lisa, Davis, Danes, although I'm surprised to see Lance here has now dropped back by a further 30 seconds. No sooner had I said that than uh, Blackham puts in a huge attack and pulls some five, six seconds ahead on this steep climb. Lancia gains time as well and draws back 20 seconds. The hills are clearly proving to be decisive and Lisa has both now the green jersey and the polka dot jersey. And in this view of uh, Lance here, that is Davis in the distance, about 10 seconds behind. He doesn't like riding in isolation, so I suspect he will make the effort and catch up with the group ahead of him. Now looking at Danes, ex-BCC member, uh, riding in isolation but riding very, very well. I think he is attacking, yes, it looks like it. Uh, he's pulling ahead of all of the other BCC A's. And if he keeps this up, I think he could well beat them all to the finish as well. With uh, roughly four kilometers to go at 35 minutes. These climbs are clearly having a significant impact. Lance here now 1 minute 28 behind Lisa. And 30 seconds ahead of Davis. I suspect neither rider is enjoying themselves at the moment. Dury still managing to hold off Shannon and Mayhew Smith who are roughly 30 seconds behind at kilometre 22.6 and 38 minutes. At 22.5 kilometres and using the featherweight power up tough as he hits the 16-17% slope still riding in isolation but I suspect he hasn't really got much choice uh, at this stage, some 11 12 seconds behind Shannon and Mayhew Smith. I think he will be fairly determined to try and catch them. We join Blackham now for the final sprint to the finish 200 meters to go, 12.1 watts per kilo and 1018 watts. Danes closing fast. Blackham first, Danes second, Lisa third. Though remember that Danes is in fact one minute ahead as he is a category B rider and in fact has one silver. Davis cruising in at 1.9 watts per kilo for an eventual finishing time of 42.59, making absolutely certain his average doesn't go above 3.999 watts per kilo. At kilometer 25, Shannon riding in a small group, one other rider in fact, has managed to drop Mayhew Smith again, who is now 37 seconds behind, but has not really uh, gained on Jury, who remains 28 seconds ahead, and here he is, climbing up a 7% climb, and still riding above his average over the last few races. And here is Mayhew Smith with just over 2 kilometres to go, 
He has uh, made a big push here. He's managed to gain 10 seconds on Shannon, but at this stage, I don't think he's going to catch him. With Tuff now still riding in isolation, but still riding very well. We join Dewey now, just as he crosses the finish line, showing great potential and a time of 47 minutes, 50 seconds. Shannon, 200, 250 meters away from the finish now. No one to sprint with towards the finish, but riding well nonetheless, and eventually crossing the line in 48 minutes and 13 seconds. Mayhew Smith really seemed to suffer on the last hill, but has pulled back a little bit of time against Shannon, but still finishes almost exactly one minute further back. Taft showing great potential in the bees as he approaches the finish line, but a little bit late on the sprint. At 12 watts per kilo, he certainly seems to have plenty of energy left for this, and eventually he crosses the line in 50 minutes and 6 seconds. Joining Stoneham now for a perfectly timed sprint finished and a well-deserved bronze medal. Even though they rode most of the race together, Nixon eventually crosses the line 12 seconds ahead of Morton. A great solid ride for both riders, well done. I thought he might catch Morton and Nixon at one point, but uh, Littlewood finishes one minute further back and Telford finishes roughly 1 minute 15 seconds behind Littlewood. With Jones the last rider to cross the line, I've heard from the commissaires that May did in fact suffer a mechanical and Mayhew Smith has been disqualified yet again for being over par. I do think he will need to submit an appeal for this.